Hello guys, this is Lee from usbkill.com and today we will test a LG TV with the USB Kill V3. So let's get started. I take my uh, USB shield in order to test if there is electricity in the USB port. So the same as usual, I take my USB Kill V3, standard edition. And sorry for the bad angle, but uh, I will test if there is electricity. Yep, so there is electricity, means that we are able to perform a USB power surge attack on this uh, USB port. So first thing we will test the USB port to make sure that uh, it's working correctly. So we will plug a USB key with uh, some uh, movies and some uh, music on it and see if it's uh, loading. Yes, the USB is loading as you can see and you have access to the content. So let's unplug that and now we can start the real tests. So let's plug our USB Kill V3, standard edition. And let's see what is going to happen. Oh. I think I will unplug it now. And wait a little because sometimes the device is uh, rebooting or restarting. So let's wait a little and oh well it's restarted. So let's check if the port is still uh, the USB port is still uh, operational. So I will take my USB key and check. Let's plug. Nothing is happening. So I guess it's safe to say that uh, the USB port is dead for the moment. Yeah, definitely dead. And um, well, what we are going to do is to plug again the USB Kill V3 and check um, if we can uh, damage a little more this TV. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess it's done. I think the motherboard is completely dead right now, so we will uh, check uh, if we can open the TV. I will fast forward. Okay, we'll put the camera on the other side and as you can see the TV is not turning on anymore. Yeah, it's completely dead and uh, to be honest, uh, it's not a smart TV and often smart TVs are offering even less resistance to USB power surge attacks. And you know already that 95% of all devices equipped with a USB port will be affected in a way or another by a USB power surge attack. So that's it for today, like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and visit usbkill.com.